Hi guys, it's Ellen and today I have a new scrapbooking layout to share with you. So I'm using the Coco Vanilla Unforgettable collection in this video and I've started out with this background paper and um, the pink with the floral design. I absolutely love this. I've trimmed it down to A4 because I always scrap in A4 and then I wanted to have a big strip of just white cardstock going across the middle just to um, have a place where I can put my photo and then I took two um, torn strips of this um, leafy pattern paper again from Unforgettable and I'm going to um, use these just to add a bit of interest behind the white cardstock so I've ruffled up the white cardstock um, edges and just stuck that down um, just with a bit of double sided tape right in the centre because I am going to stitch along it and then I'm taking those two strips of the leaf um, black and white pattern paper and again distressing the edges where I've torn them I'm also um, just uh, inking the edges with the black ink pad um, and then I'm going to use some thin double sided tape to add that just behind my cardstock so it's just poking out um, and then I'll trim off all the excess and then head over to my sewing machine and just sew a messy stitch all along that um, just with a black thread so I'm not trying to be neat or anything I, I quite like it when it looks distressed and messy um, I then have my photo, it's a picture of me and Oscar and he was just looking really cute so I took a photo and that's what I'm going to use today. I've distressed the edges of my photo as well and then I'm just adding some double sided tape behind that because I'm going to use some of the 6x8 pattern papers to back my photo one. So the first one is this pattern paper with the text on. Um, because I wanted a white border but I didn't want to use just white cardstock so I thought that would be perfect and then I've got two, uh, three other um, pattern papers two of them matching the ones I've already used and a blue as well and I've just um, distressed all of the edges and stuck them together so they're all a bit wonky and that's what I'm layering my photo onto I've then got my title the life part is from um, the foam alphabet the foam titles from this collection and then I have right now these are um, acrylic uh, perspectives from L L's studio um, and I thought that would just go together perfectly but where I'm sticking the white perspectives onto white cardstock I wanted to make sure it was easy to read so I've used some of the clear stickers that are um, sort of watercolory um, and they're they again are in the Unforgettable collection and I've used one of those, a bright pink one, to uh, make sure the right now piece stands out and I've also used a couple more just randomly across the page. I'm also going to use a label sticker under right now so I can add my date and again it just helps it stand out, you can see that so much more now. I'm just going to go through all of my ephemera from the Unforgettable collection and just pick out pieces that I think will work. So I have that captured piece which was from a cut apart 6x8 paper and um, so I cut that out, distressed the edges and um, stuck that just across my photo. I've used one of the really big floral clusters and I've just chopped that in half and put that at the top and bottom of my torn edge of the pattern paper that I've used just to add some more interest and I really like how that looks so I'm glad I did that. I've then got two banner pieces, one is a blue one with a butterfly on it and I've just stuck that flat and then I've taken a larger white and pink one and um, propped that up onto some foam and overlapped the banner piece. And then sticking down my right now perspectives and I just used PVA, I didn't think this would work but um, I left it alone for ages, I've got my glue on top of it there and it does actually stick really well so I was worried about that. I've used them previously and used hot glue but it's quite messy and I didn't really like how it looked so um, I'm happy that it's stuck down there. 
I've stuck down the life piece and I'm going to add another floral cluster in the bottom left hand corner and then going around the whole page with my fine liner pen and creating just a rough border then the final thing I'm doing is adding some of my black pearl drops all around the floral clusters and also around my photo in various areas where I've got the bold black life part of my title I just wanted to tie that in with the rest of the page a bit more and that's my page all finished so I hope you enjoyed this video and as always thank you very much for being here bye guys